so what's up guys this is not our usual video uh, this channel talks more about personal finance personal developments you know businesses making money and all that but uh, today we're going to go off that a little bit there are a few things that are happening in my country called Sierra Leone that is really really disheartening in my opinion I have looked at all what is happening Sierra Leone being a peaceful country, a country that has got uh, a lot of respect from other uh, neighboring countries, you know, a country that has got a lot of resources, that have got intelligent leaders. It's a country that is suffering from a lot of indiscipline, and that is really bringing the country backward. I've just looked at a way that I could share my own view towards probably not the development of the country, but kind of educate people who are fortunate to come through this channel to see reasons to comport themselves or to advocate to people who seems to be putting on series of indisciplined behavior excuse me for the language that has deterred the growth of this nation i know you watching this video probably may be putting me in the political category just talking here as a citizen and i think uh, every other citizens want to be in the peaceful state want to be in a state that has got all it deserves, want to be in a state that brings development, a state where its citizens want to welcome development and want to see how best they can bring in development if it is not there. And uh, if this country is not going towards that direction, it is time for us to come on board and share it so that we educate a lot of people. Over the past months or weeks or so, there have been a lot of stuff that I think should be addressed. You know, a lot of indisciplinary actions ranging from the, the supply of diesel or fear. You know, we all know there are crises around the world. But here is this country. Today, if uh, fear pumped dealers, we sit down, decide not to sell. And then you just see uh, there's no action taken against them to ensure that they really go by the law of the state. And as a result of that, you see some portion of uh, or some group of people who will just come around and say there's a sit-down strike, basically because they think there is an increase in the price of fuel or petrol. This is actually uh, something that is heart-rendering, and uh, I think as citizens of this nation, we need to sit down and think twice. Why do you need to go on a sit-down strike when you know there are issues globally with regards to diesel? Or with regard to petrol or fiat in general. Even when we think the government is trying the best that he could to manage the life or manage the supply of the little that we've got. But yes, the people don't want to understand that. Yet I know you are saying he's part of the government and that he's trying to make an advocacy on behalf of the government. That is not it. And most probably you don't even know where I do belong. So you don't need to guess on that trend. All I want to say here, like I told you earlier, is to bring you a liberal view on why people should not be taking the laws into their own hands. You decided on your own to sit down because there's an increase in the price of fear. Of which, if you do a research on the trend around the sub-region, you realize that you are more better than the other countries. Looking at the price, your price is still at 15,000 leons. Though there are scarcity within the market, with patience, you still get a bit of what you are supposed to get. Let's say, for example, there's a political undertone, which I believe it is. Let's imagine who is bearing the brunt of our own action. Is it the political leaders or we the innocent citizens? In my opinion, we are suffering more than the political leaders. You tell me, for example, on today's action of the drivers, who bears the greatest suffering? Did you at any point see the son of the Minister of Finance, for example, or the Minister of Internal Affairs, or the Minister of uh, Agriculture, or, or the Minister of Youth Affairs? Did you at any point see his daughter or his son walking around town just to get to school? Did you at any point see that? I'm sure you didn't. And so, if you did not, why do you need to punish yourself? Because even on your action, your own mother, your brother, your sister was walking today from his or her home to a place where he's going to find his living. But because of your action, he has to struggle to get there. 
And let me tell you one thing here. If all of us think it is going to be uh, politically motivated, then we are making a very big mistake. There's not going to be a direct impact on the people we think should be suffering. Ideally, you and I have got powers only on a single day. We have power just in a single day. That is the day we are to cast our ballot. That is the only time you have that political, you have the power to change the political will of a nation. That is the only time. If you did not change that will at that particular time, and when people have decided to change their own direction, you think you can change it, it is very difficult to do that. There's no way you can change it. So until democratically the five years is gone, then look at another five years before you think you can make it up. So why do you need to struggle? Let's say there's a shortage. I'm asking you, you watching this video, of all the strike actions today, of all the action of uh, blocking uh, the major streets around town. Who was the victim? Who was the victim? It is either you or me. And if there was any point that the ministers or the president were to move from one place to another, you and I were going to be in a bush or far away from the street. Because even when you see the escort, you just have to run away. So why do you need to punish your own brother just because you think you are making a good name for whatever reason? You are not making a good name. You're just punishing your own brother. Over the past months, since that uh, uh, invasion in Ukraine, we've been managing the little fear we've got. And there were these means of transportation. People were moving, irrespective of the price. That is understandable. But if you could sit down for no reason, Imagine I was asking the guy, why really do you think you should sit down today? He could not give me a reason. Aren't you seeing the price of the fear? Is it only in Sierra Leone? Are you the only affected person globally? Have you asked yourself? No. So we have to change. Let's change for the better. If you think you don't like the president now, you have a time to say something. For those who like him, they have the time to say something. They will keep saying it. You don't have much to say. And there's no way you can sabotage his government because he is the president of the day. And because he is the president of the day, he's going to be there for a time. Say, for example, you and I here walking around without a car or even a bicycle. Let's say, for instance, there's a change of government. Do you think the president now is going to be broke like you? Do you think... The first lady of this nation is going to be broke like you and your family. Big respect to your family. Do you think the daughters or the sons and relatives of the president are going to be broke like you? Very difficult to see that. Why do you need to do something against something that you cannot change? Let's be mindful, Sierra Leone. The form of indiscipline in the nation is going at a very bad rate. And to my able security men you guys need to step up there are a lot of offenses a lot of possible actions that you should take on people who want to violate the laws of the state that's why you are there to protect world life and property so if people are there burning cars insulting people even though i want to say thanks for your response in various areas but sometimes your response is very late so as a nation, we need to come together and fight as one umbrella so we can achieve rather than pulling down other people, making alterations that has nothing to do with your life, that will bring no change to the nation. Imagine sitting down for no reason. I saw some press release from the uh, president or the executive of the driver's union condemning the action and saying that they are not aware of the action of certain unscrupulous people that is exactly what they say quote and unquote so what is that why why can't we change the narrative of this nation so Sierra Leoneans we need to come together let's forget about politics and do what we are supposed to do to develop this nation it's just like you have in your family if you could not help how do you think that family is going to be a developed family not until you help in your own way to transform the history or the story of that family. So if you could not help in transforming the narrative of Australia, 
how do you think the president the vice president the former president or whoever will come around to change the life of you your very self it is very impossible so my warning here to you all is that or my advice to you is that we have to act as citizens of this nation we have to act like people who love this nation we have to act that this nation is our father is our everything without australia you are called a foreigner in Sierra Leone, you are called a citizen. So be proud of that and protect the image of this nation. I want to thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in my next video. Thank you very much and I'm sure you will change and develop this nation.